Welcome to Second Take, the show that takes a look at the issues behind the news. Two teams from South Africa will participate in the 2014 Dakar Rally, which will, for the first time, include Bolivia on its route. Engineering News Senior Deputy Editor Irma Fenter tells us more about the local teams and the skills they will need to succeed. Hi, Irma. Hi, Shalom. Before we go into detail about the teams, that the South African teams that will be participating in the rally this or next year, can you tell us a bit more about the event itself? Well, it's uh, deemed as the grueling, uh, most grueling um, rally event on the calendar. It's 8,500 kilometers. It uh, runs across South America. It's going to start in um, Argentina. It's going to end in Chile. That's, like I said, 13 stages, 8,500 kilometers. 13 stages, so it's going to be a very long rally, and it's a, uh, it starts on uh, January the 5th and ends on January 18th. So we're going to look forward to back-to-back uh, -back racing. It's like Janil de Villiers from South Africa says, it's, uh, it's basically doing a full rally every day uh, for about two weeks. Two South African teams will be participating, is that correct? We're looking definitely at the same team. The Toyota team is going to continue their participation. It will be their third year. So Toyota Mo Motorsport is going to enter two Hilux buckies again. These are, of course, made in, in Durban at Toyota's uh, plant there. But they're being specially built up and, and changed and modified um, at Glen Hall's workshop in um, Madrand. He's, of course, the Toyota Mo Motorsport team principal. So he's taking these buckies and um, trying to make them more special, more suited to the event. He's, for example, looking at shedding for 40 kilograms of the 2014 Dakar buckies from the 2013 um, buckies to kind of build in that little bit of advantage. So the teams we're looking at are a, a lot of familiar names. We've got Daniel de Villiers and um, his co-pilot uh, Dirk von Sittewitz. Uh, Dirk's of course not South African, but Janil's a very well-known South African. And uh, they achieved a third place in 2012 and then second place this year. So we're all naturally hoping for a first place in 2014. And then they're backed up by the um, second Hilux team, and that will be um, Leroy Poulter. It will be his first outing, and uh, Rob Howie will be his navigator. And then the second team we've got for the first time, we'll see uh, also South African built uh, Ranger Buckies participate in the Dakar Rally. Uh, Ford plant, Ford's plants, of course, in Silverton near Pretoria. Um, and the modifications for the Dakar Buckies will happen in Peter Maritzburg with Neil Woolridge Motorsport. So uh, Neil will change these buckies and make them also suitable for the Dakar Rally. Um, of course, he's got the backing of South Racing, a German-based company, and then um, the Team Ford uh, Racing team will consist of Ford drivers as well. Uh, the lead team, though, they are Argentinian, so it's, it's Ronnie Grauer and uh, Lucia Alvarez. And then we've got two South Africans, luckily, and then a second Ranger, and that will be Chris Fisser and Yabi Bodnost, and then they'll try their best to support the lead team. Of course, being the lead team in, in when you have two buckies, it's the most important uh, team. They're kind of supported by the second bucky. So, the, for example, Janil de Villiers and Dirk von Sitterwitz don't carry any spare parts um, to try and keep the, the weight as low as possible. But their backup team, Leroy Porter, will kind of have to carry their spare parts for them, all in, in aid of trying to push for that podium position that the uh, teams want. What makes one competitor in the rally do better than another? Because it's such a long event, Janil and, and Glenn um, will tell you that it's actually all about concentration. That to do so many days of racing in heat that often reaches 50 degrees Celsius over sand dunes, crossing the Andes, um, going over deserts, you have to really be able to concentrate and focus on what you're doing and to do that day after day. So the guys who win are actually the guys who make the least mistakes. So when you ask Janil what he wants for 2014, he said he wants a perfect race. So he wants to make no mistakes. It's not necessarily about being the fastest and the hardest and going out there and, and just trying to be for the top spot every time. It's just trying to be consistent, racing um, without uh, the bucket breaking down. So that, of course, leads to reliability of the, the bucky as well, which is why I think we've got um, the Ford also entering the race now, because it's a, a great um, credit to uh, a bucky made in South Africa that it can actually complete the, the Dakar Rally. So it's a little bit about both. It's about the team, the backup that exists, the driver just focusing, knowing where to go, knowing how to deal with a sand dune, for example, where you can't see what's on the other side, concentrating, being mentally fit, and then having a, a car that doesn't break down as well. Thank you. That's the second tech show for this week. Thank you for watching and join us again next time for more news analysis.